Well, we've got cow manager tags in all the cows that we're breeding from now, these orange tags that you see. Um, that monitors their activity, just like a Fitbit does on humans, um, and divides their time into eating, active, ruminating, or resting. So I rely on cow manager entirely for my heat detection. I don't do any manual observation at all now. And I'm so confident in it that if it's um, if there are cows that have got to 50 or 55 days and not had a heat, I will go in and treat them because I, I know it's not what I've missed it. I know it's, it's because they're not cycling. It also gives you the, the side benefit of the, the health monitoring. Um, so if a cow stops eating for four hours, I get a, a warning flash up on my phone, which seems you think four hours wasn't very, wasn't very long for a cow to stop eating, but in, in fact there almost always is something wrong with them. If they stop eating for four hours, some, something has gone wrong. Now, we haven't treated a DA for, I think, three years now. Um, and I think that's not because we, we wouldn't get them, it's because we respond quickly and keep cows' intakes going so they, they don't become problem cows. The cow manager's been a, a real opener in and things like cow behaviour. I didn't realise how much impact a, a, a group change had on a cow until we had cow behaviour. But, Group change always flags up the health of it uh, on cow management. It's as stressful for a cow to change group as it is for a cow to come bullying, and you can see why some of the problems come up, come from that. So we're much more careful about when we change um, cow groups, especially transition cows and fresh calf cows and whatnot, because we, we've learnt from that. It's just always the opportunity to learn and do better. And uh, the third big benefit with cow manager is learning from group behaviour, because it will also give you graphs on on group nutrition. So you can see, for example, um, grazing behaviour. I've been, been told it, but when you see it on your own herd, it makes perfect sense that cows will, when you, if you turn them out with an after, they'll go and graze for three or four hours, and then they'll lay down for three or four hours. So if you bring them in from the field after six hours, so they've only had one graze, you give them eight hours, they'll have a second graze, so you almost double the intake. And you know, you're told that in theory, but when you see it working on cow manager, I've got a beautiful graph of it actually happening with cows that go out hungry in, in cow manager. You can see the logic in that, so you can learn sort of group behaviour and learn how to respond better to it. Um, and the other thing is, that it's a now a new module on cow manager, but they've got a module on transition management, which is a, a real eye opener. Which um, um, so that the aim is that you get it right with every cow with transition, but inevitably you, you get it wrong with some, but you've got a lot of data that you can look back and see what went wrong with that cow and try and avoid it with the next one. The interface that cow manager has, the way it shows your data, and it doesn't show a lot of cows that you, you don't want to know about, it shows the ones that are problems, is what I really like about it. And it's uh, something we all look at when we come to work in the morning, the first thing you look at the computer screen, see any cows that got health warnings on them before milking or whatever, and then you, you're warned in advance about any problems. That are, are coming up. It won't ever replace stockmanship, you need stockmanship to decide what to do with the sick cow, but it's very much a, a helping hand that you've got a machine, if you like, watching every cow 24 hours a day, and it's, yeah, in its own way as good as any stockman.